Hey everyone, it is five o'clock and it's Sunday, so it's time for So Sweet Sunday. Let's go ahead and share everywhere. Oh, who shared to It's So Sweet to Learn? So Sweet Academy. Gems, applique, and more. Three. There we go. Almost done. What are y'all doing today? E and B R O I D E R. Embroidery is not a word that you can just pick up in the middle of the word and like not intentionally be trying to spell it. There we go. Because you will mess up. And then there was one more beginner's one that I usually pop into. I think this one is it. Um, let me see what y'all are doing. Hey, y'all are all here. Look at y'all all here, just ready. Who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Hey, Zaranda. Hey, Elliot. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Terry. Hey, Fanny. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Phyllis. And hey, everybody else that's about to pop in. Hey, Letty. Um, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Hey, Amelia. Um, so I just asked y'all what y'all were doing. Let me tell you what I've been doing. Let me mute this really quickly. The, um, the bells and whistles were going off over there. But, um, hey, Angela. So, y'all, I am in full production mode. Um, I have a pretty big order of backpacks to do. So, I already said that between now and back to school, that that was pretty much all I was going to be doing. And it worked out perfectly because... I have um, So Sweet Sunday, and I have a bunch of backpacks to do, so I'm going to do them. Um, this one is going to be more of like a, when I have a large, or like in this one, I have 25, but I have like another case or so of them coming that they ordered. So um, what I usually do, I get all of them together, and I batch them. So that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to batch backpacks. I am going to use my um multi-needle <coughs> excuse me and i am going to use my hoop tech clamps because i can just go on and off on and off on and off which is kind of different from what i use with my um where is it i don't think i have it in here but my backpack with my brown girl with the bubble where i put the name in it i use the uh mighty hoops for her because it's just easier to clamp that down in there and stick it on but for this one i'm going to definitely just batch on and off um with my hoop tech clamps let me show you i haven't done any of like my cleanup work to it but let me show you what the design is on there it's just it's for a corporate order so it has the extreme teachers logo and it's real easy just three colors so i love those because they're fast um, the most I'm going to have to do to this one to kind of clean it up is go in and take off. You see the little where that connects right there, the E, and then that, that. I'm Listen, it may not bother y'all, and it may not even bother them, but it bothers me. It's there. I see it. So I'm going to just cut that off and, um, yeah, a couple places. Now, I'm not going to cut it off down here at the bottom because I'm afraid I might cut the, um, the other thread, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I I did not digitize this, but I usually do this on a lot of polos and hats. So I actually had to make it bigger because I don't remember who initially digitized it. 
so I couldn't quite like send it back to him and say, hey, can you up the size? But luckily, guess who's been playing around with Hatch? Boom, me, I have, I did that. So I just opened it up in Hatch and I um, I made it just a little bit bigger so that I didn't have to get it re-digitized and um, it worked out. Except for one little spot that's a little bald, I'll show y'all. Um, <laughs> I'll show y'all, but I will show you what I'm doing to fix it because I did not have time to go back and try to figure out and do all this and do that. So when it comes up and you have something that happens in the middle of your stitch out, just do the fixing right then and there. And then after that, you come back and you do whatever else you have to do. So, um, yeah, so my backpack has a little bald spot, but I'm going to show you how I fix it. Okay. It's all, listen, y'all read this, read, let me stand up for the people in the back. Hold on. It does not have to be perfect, ha! but it has to be pretty. So that's what that means. That we've we've proven that to be true all weekend. Um, I cannot wait to tell you all about how the hat stitch went yesterday. As a matter of fact, I need to yell for Kira to bring me the hat because I forgot it up front. I want to show you all what we stitched out, and I definitely um, have some other news for you all. Some fun stuff. Let me say hey to everybody. Y'all been hopping on real quick. Uh, where? Oh, my stomach. Did I leave off? Did I say, hey, Angela? Hey, Angela. Hey, Evelyn. Hey, Monette. Hey, D. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Starla. Hey, Tamira. Tamira says she loves my energy. Thank you, girl. All right. So, now, basically, I've this all morning, I've been doing these same, ooh, oh my gosh. The same backpacks on and off, on and off, on and off. So, uh, this is the end. This is the last of one case. Um, <laughs> I have a bald spot too. Now I shave my hair. Oh my gosh, that's too bad. <laughs> so, okay, so the bald spot. We're not going to talk about the bald spot because it's going to hurt the backpack's feelings. Okay, but um, but I'll show y'all. So you made me laugh, Jeff. Um. But yeah, so basically I have had a lot to do this morning. I've been working on a lot of stuff like um, admin stuff. So I had to find something I could go on and off the machine with. So with, enough talking. Enough talking. Let's, let's get to work because this is a 26 minute stitch out. It started off at a 24 minute stitch out. But by me trying to fix my little ball spot um, on one of the letters, I didn't up it and added two minutes on it so you see what was going on well, with me trying to fix it myself i was just increasing the time of my stitch and not really getting anywhere so what i do first unzip my bag and i usually oh i have one already i keep a bunch of so i count out how many um orders i have right now i have um i had 25 of these so i go ahead and i get everything done ahead of time get all this uh, stuff put out I'm gonna put this over here so y'all can see as I'm going and then then I just go ahead and get my stabilizer on there I'm using tear away tape that down tape it down tape it down and basically what I'm doing today I'm gonna do as many as I can in like this one hour time that we usually hang out here And what I love about these, so I've already kind of, um, hey Vanessa, hey Latasha, so I've already kind of gotten these going, so I, I'm not marking my center, but I already know my landmarks, so that's what I know about it. Oh, y'all making me nervous. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. I was, I was doing this good just right before y'all all stopped by. Okay, I'm back. Okay. I, was, I got nervous for a second. Then. It went through my head like, what if this first one that I do on here for them just comes out all kinds of crooked? And I had to just, I had to, I had to remind myself, Alexis. You did already about 10 bags over there. You got this. So I already have my colors picked out, everything. And we're more so worried about just getting this on and off. So, like, boom. I got everything on. Stitching. It's going to stitch out. And that's that. But what I'm going to do for the rest of them, I'm going to go ahead and start getting them out of the plastic. 
Y'all, do y'all see this? Did y'all just hear what happened? I tell you, these machines, they wait, they wait until you get in front of company to act up. You see what just happened? So I ran out of bobbin, okay? You don't think the bobbin should have run out like a long time ago when I was done? Oh, no, it just waits until we get on live. This thing's just... All right. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. This one, I cannot... So with the Hoop Tech clamp, this particular um, backpack on here, I don't have enough room on there to lift it. So I'm just going to unscrew the whole thing. Now, keep in mind, I am not... I Technically, I could because I'm just starting out and I could just take those stitches out, but no, nobody got time for that. So I'm just going to take it off really carefully. I'm not taking it off of the hoop. I'm not taking off any of this stuff. None of that stuff. None of that. None of that. And then I'm going to just pop this open and change it. That's it. Okay. Simple as that. Here I am trying to show you all how fast I'm going to get this, these orders cranked out. And then I'm going to pop it. Um, but we have a lot to talk about today. Hopefully you all will be able to hear me over the machine. So, you know, I use the Filtech magnetic ones. Take that right on around there. Need to clean out in there. It's a little, a little thready. Are you thready? I always like to look. And Y'all making me nervous. And I'm finding thread back here. Hold on. I, I just threw my bobbin case back there. Give me a second. Oh, look. I've been looking for this one. So much for fast production, Alexis. Here we go. Okay. Found it. We're back. And then slide it right back on carefully so that you don't, like right now it's okay. If I were to make a mistake and bump it or something, it's not worst case scenario, but um, it works because right now it's at the very beginning. And then typically if it were doing like a top satin stitch or something over it, I would back it up. But in this case, I'm not going to because it's going to cover it all up anyway. So we're just going to keep it pushing. Keep on pushing. Now, I just took away from my production time. Okay. I really use my hoop tech clamps, but when I have the odd thing, they are worth everything. Yes, they are very much worth every penny. Every single last penny. Um, I love them. I love them. This one is the five by six. So, um, okay, I'm gonna, I can't move it on. There we go. I'm gonna show you a shake. Um, so yeah, so this one is. The five by six is hoop that clamp. I love hoop that clamp. I have all kinds of hoops. I might have a little bit of an addiction to it. Maybe a little. And I have two of the hat drivers, so I love them. But let's see. Let's see if Kira can hear me. Kira! Come hither, please. Look up there on my um, single new machine and grab that hat ready to talking to myself <laughs> I will do that but um hold on what it's not up there it's, it's gotta be up there what do you mean you 
it's like a gray hat and it, oh look in the um look in my light box maybe i'll put it in there or you know what y'all maybe I, I don't know what i did with it because i brought it in here earlier i think to take a picture and i just realized i never took a picture of it but i want to show you all the hat that we did yesterday and the hat shipping stitch and then tell you all about the fun that we had it was so much fun to be had. Never mind, Tia. I false alarm. I found it. I found. I found it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your willingness to help. Okay, so let me see. Let's talk for a moment. I can't put it on because my head's too big. I got too much going on up here. I have too much going on up here with my hair. But um, this is the hat from the shipping stitch. So what is the shipping stitch you may ask? So basically, um, I had an event, a virtual event, where you signed up and I shipped you all of the supplies that you needed for um, a stitch out. Booty out and we did hats. And we did it on a single needle machine. And guess what, you guys? I digitized this okay I'm still not a pro definitely not a pro at it but it stitched it didn't break anybody's machine and I did it and I'm proud of myself um I'm proud of myself it's cute it says craft queen and I, I did like a little crown I did like a little um brown it was on the thread it was more like a I don't know the color I'm looking for, but I wanted to use metallic, but y'all know how metallic does me these days. Metallic is like, it just, it just has to, it has to be in a good mood to work. I don't care who you are. Metallic just has to, you know, the needle has to be right, the machine has to be right, the moon has to be right, and then your metallic thread will work. Um, but yeah, we did a shipping stitch, we did a hat, so much fun, everybody that showed up, um, we did a little bit of troubleshooting in there also, so that was a good little sneak tidbit. And everybody that was able to stitch on, you know, a couple of them didn't stitch. They were going to go back and stitch it later, but everybody that was able to stitch on the Zoom, we finished our hats. Okay? And if you all can go back through the It's So Sweet to Learn group, scroll up and read Zaranda's testimonial. She has a lovely testimonial. She got through it. We had a really good time. And um, I'm, so, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, our next one is actually going to be a backpack one. Not like this one. Not not this one, but it's going to be similar to this one. If you watch my, my live when I was waiting on the UPS guy, it's going to be those backpacks that I'll ship out to you. And we'll stitch it on a stitch along. So that was going to be super fun. But um, other than that, what else do I have going on? Alright, let's check on here. Let's check on our stitch out. See what we got going on here. It's going good. It's going good. Some great ideas for backpacks for back to school would be names. You can do appliques. Do me a favor, you guys, and comment what Either if you have put anything on a backpack or if you plan to put anything on a backpack, be it applique, um, initials. How do you feel about initials and having the kids' whole names on there? How do y'all feel about that?
Um, oh, so, okay, Jeff, good question. So if, I, if you had made the center bar applique, would it save you time or would it be a wash? In this case, it would be both. Both answers are correct, not correct. Both answers are, um, are time saving. But in this situation, it would increase my time because what I've been doing is putting them on and walking away. Um, I've been doing other stuff in this time of, what, 26 minutes. So I didn't want to be tied right here to my machine having to cut the applique out. So, um, or if it were a situation where I could just, like if I had a, a Cricut or a scanning cut or something like that, and I had it pre-cut, it would be well worth it. But for this one, it's a lot faster and easier for me to just do the fill stitch. Uh, let's see what you all said about this. Mm, Jamie said initials only. Margaret said no names. Phyllis said initials. Jules said I like the idea for initials for the younger kids. Initials unless name requested. Jeff said my kid's name is everywhere. Me too, Jeff. I feel you on that. Like I, they, they were making me feel bad for a second where they were being all discreet and not putting the kid's name, but here I am just plastering my child's name everywhere. But yeah, I, I see both sides. It, it's especially in this world that we're living in now. Um, Denise says initials are much better than the whole name. I explain why initials are only two. I allow my clients to make the call. I know most use most people use in school. So I figure it helps to find their bags for the younger ones. Tammy says full name. So we're kind of like split down the middle. And I know why. Like I know why it's the um the initials only versus the full name. Because you know there are people out here in this world that will call your children's name. And being that kids are so innocent as they should be, they will go and they will um you know entertain the stranger, which is which is pretty scary, but um I too leave it up to the person that is getting it stitched if they want the whole name. I'll do the whole name. I mean, if they have four names, I've done four names on there. I mean, every name that you've named the child, and as long as it fits on the social security card, I will put it on the book bag. I don't mind. Uh, it might be an increased cost for more names, but nonetheless, listen, you want their, you want the nickname? I'll put the nickname. You want the whole name? Let's get it. I will put it on there. But I also understand why the people want to do the initials. You know? I get it. I definitely get it. And I respect either way. It helps younger kids with spelling and identification. But I work at a private school where public activity is minimal. Yep. Yep. So it's definitely, um, it's definitely personal preference. I, I don't know, I guess, like I, I've always, I, I kind of sometimes have a false sense of security and um, I stay prayed up. So I do put my daughter's name on her. I have always put her name, like her full name. Actually, I put her nickname. I'll put the first part of her name um, unless it's just something small where I do the initials. But, yep. Yep. Um, so, and also, since she goes to a private school, I, I do her, oh, goodness gracious, that just reminded me, shoot, I have a lot of other stuff to do too, because I have to put her, her school logo on her shirts. Look at me just remembering work to do. probably is a shorter of a stitch but when I when I went in and tried to I tried to you know tried to be a big girl and I thought I knew what I was doing I tried to increase some of the stitches and it's not a what is it an EMB file for for patch even if it were I, let, let's be honest <laughs> 
I have been shown one time how to do it and I just I did not practice it so I don't remember it but I know it's possible but in this case it's just a lot quicker for me to do this little um, little back up two stitch two step stitch that I've been doing and when I'm in the other room No, Jeff, they didn't give me the EMB uh, file. Like, a lot of them, until recently, I didn't even know that one was relevant. So, I've been asking for it more recently. I've had this one for several years, this design digitized. So, back then, I didn't even know to ask for it. Uh, what speed do you normally run your machine? Is that Shula? Shula, if it's something like this, I do about 800 stitches per minute. So, 800. I don't go any higher than that on this um, six needle but if it's something like a hat or something a little more delicate I will go down to five or six hundred seven even seven hundred stitches per minute I need to get I need to actually lift my machine and put it on the little bumper the little stoppers that it's on and secure it down more because if you all notice this little thing is shaking over here like a leaf because it, the shock isn't being absorbed and I'm pretty sure that's not good for my machine. Pretty sure it's not, but um, this baby's gonna be going in for a little spa day soon, so I will make sure every bolt is tightened and everything is in place, but that's that part. Put my grandchildren's name if they're using a travel bag. I put their belongings. To take the time to do it. Yep. Um, y'all, I usually put my logo on everything. Um, I'm gonna get a couple of other bags, and I don't know. I've, I've been thinking of some stuff. I like to just just do some real simple, fast stuff to throw in my Etsy shop, just so that I can um, keep the orders coming in that way. I don't do too much customization type stuff in my etsy i like just fast you know on and off the machine it's always been my thing just fast on and off the machine i do a lot of these i have done a lot of detailed stuff but my first love my my favorite would be on and off the machine and applique i love me some applique um hey shana Justin said, I will make sure you have had your, I appreciate that. I'm actually waiting. I, I need to check my email. If you, maybe you've sent it. I don't know. But I do highly, highly, highly appreciate that from, from you all for making sure my files are done correctly. be doing in a situation like this um, and what I was doing before we started I was I would listen because my room is right across the hall from my sewing room from my office from the so sweet studio haha <laughs> that's what we're in right now we're in the so sweet studio my bedroom is right across the hall and I can hear my machine when it stops so when it stops I hop up run in here um, fix my little ball spot take it off the machine do the next one and then finish up what I'm doing on, on my computer. <laughs> but, or if I were to stay in here, I think I was on the phone earlier, that's why I left out of here. But if I was on the phone earlier, I have my, my computer, everything right on that side. So I could still be sitting in here working and doing stuff. So you don't always have to have multiple machines to be productive, you guys. You can set it, oh, that's what I was doing. I was setting it all up ahead of time. I was setting it up ahead of time. So I usually like count out how many I have left. And then I go ahead and I just take my pre-cut sheets and I caddy corner them so that it's easier to pull. Because earlier I made a mistake and pulled like a double and I stitched on two layers of tear away. And I'm like, oh, no, no, we only needed one. Who's wasting tear away over here? Stuff is not cheap. 
Um, so I'll go ahead and prepare all that and get that started. Grab my next bag. Out of the plastic. For while that's stitching, I'm getting everything ready. If it were a matter of me having to mark my center, the only reason I'm not having to mark my center on this is because I use my Hoop Tech clamps. I use the landmarks on there. And I'm gonna write it down in my Pretty Perfect Planner, um, right here. I'm gonna write down in my Pretty Perfect Planner to, to let me know what I did. Like if I, if I made sure the top of the design was like right up against the, um, as far down, as high up as it could go, or if I use this little zipper part on the bag to remind me, okay, this zipper lines up with here. Little stuff like that. I'll write that down. what I've been doing for the production part. I'll, just, I'll let it keep going. And actually, you know what? The first one that I did, it's on there. Let me show you that one. It's worse on that one. So... Let me show y'all on this one. And what happened was I took it off the machine before I could catch it. Y'all ready? But listen, do not, let's have a talk. Don't laugh at my little book bag and it's ball spot. It's sensitive. Okay? It's trying. It's just a little ball spot and we're going to still love it the same. Y'all ready? Are y'all still going to give me a thumbs up or something? Yeah. I don't know. The last couple times my phone has been doing something strange where it's not loading all my messages. I don't know. You all that you other ones that go live, have you all been having the same problem? I'm just gonna show y'all because I didn't see any um, thumbs up because my 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 Facebook is acting strange. But okay. So the little ball spot is right here. See that? That's the ball spot. It may not bother them, but it bothers me. See, there's my, thank y'all. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with Facebook. Like, I don't get into the outcome and whatnot. I love it. But yeah, that's my ball spot. It's just a little, it's just a little scarce. It's just a little thread scarcity. <laughs> but, um, so I will, I will show you with this one. And then I tried to go in and fix it by increasing my stitch density, all that kind of stuff. But I couldn't get it to go just in that one place on Sew Up Pro. So I just stop it. Um, not stop it. I don't stop it. I, once it's done, I just back it all the way up and stitch back over that one little spot and then keep it moving. Um, I will get it redigitized actually because I don't, I don't want to have to keep doing that. But in this moment, today, I did not have time to let that stop me. So, thank you, Justin. I definitely am going to take you up on that. Uh, I will be sending it to you tonight. And, um, getting that fixed because we, listen, we don't have time for slowdowns, okay? Terry, I said I'm experiencing a lot of screen. Y'all know what? I wonder, let me get off the Wi-Fi. I was about to say, I wonder if it's my daughter and, um, and her internet usage and her YouTubeage. She's on YouTube. 
is having a sleepover and um they both have devices and then they both are watching youtube and only so much wi-fi to go around for me i pay for the wi-fi y'all and i am getting the short end of the wi-fi stick around here how does that work <laughs> Jeff and Justin play nice. Y'all be good on that. <laughs> but um, but yeah, my my Wi-Fi is definitely taking a little plunge, and I think that's what's going on. It is dark outside, so my lighting is kind of blocked too. Am I still freezing up? Hold on, let me get, let me get these kids off this Wi-Fi. No, don't go nowhere. Oh my. We're almost done with it. Um, it's got two more minutes left and then we can fix the spot. Okay. I'm back. So, um, yeah, they're living the life. I go in there, they're like relaxing, holding their phones on YouTube. Like, I gotta go bust that party up in a few minutes. Like, my mom, I feel like she used to wait until I was having fun to get me to clean up. I'm about to be my mom. Okay. Oh, no, we're not done. Sorry. False alarm. Not done yet. We're stitching out the leaf. I feel hydrated, thirsty. y'all lean in real quick hold on don't step on anybody but lean in it's okay lean in lean in nobody we're not gonna bite today so it finished up it went all the way through the finishing portion it's okay because i'm not gonna move anything on here so it's okay that it's finishing up but let me see i might have to take you all off of here So we're still a little bald right there. See that? Still a little balding. So all I'm gonna do is go back to sewing. I'm gonna go forward to my white thread. So it's gonna go to my white thread. And then I'm gonna go forward, I'm gonna go by five hundreds. And I've already seen that when I get to like right there in increments of 500, because I've, I've done this a couple times before, before we got on here. Um, it's going to stop about right there. Then I'm going to hit start and I'm going to stop right there before it starts with another just like running stitch and goes back up. So I'm just going to click 500 at a time, 500 stitches. Fast forward. See, I knew what I was talking about. It's going to stop right there and that's where it's going to start me back up at. Close, lock, start. And then I'm going to stop it right when it gets like right on the other side. About right there and see we fixed my ball spot lock it cut it yeah. let's put y'all back on here are we freezing up 
still oh we're not freezing up are we freezing are we frozen and take it off and then start all over take my stabilizer out I just tore it out kind of crumpled it as I went too And then, booyah, we're no longer bald. Okay? You want to see the um, comparison? A little scarcity? A little bald spot? Uh-oh, we're not. Let's see. There we go. A little baldy. not okay so you see the difference um yeah there you have it that's the difference and i was going to do two but we've already been on here for about i don't even know how long let's see maybe 45 minutes or so and um well let's at least get the other one started okay so i'll go for it Put that on there. I'll stay on a little longer because I think I see a question or two coming through. Use my use my tape that I already have on here. Grab my next backpack that I've already opened up and gotten ready. You can move your Whoa, you can move your hoop on out. bunch it up a little bit so I can have room for it to go all inside. Alright, go to sewing, lock it, my threads are already chosen, and booyah. Alright, what did we say? What did I miss? What kind of basic items do you do to keep the orders coming in? I love applique also. Um, it depends on the season. Should look it really does. For back to school, I do backpacks. And as a matter of fact, um, I just released a guide. And, oh, you know, I didn't even link it. Shame on me. Um, but I just released a holiday guide. It's on my website. But it helps me to keep up with what holidays I have coming up and what I need to do to plan for it. Um, it also has a lot in there about goals. Y'all know me. I love goal setting because I love smashing my goals. I mean, let's just put that out there. Uh, and I want you all to do the same thing. But it has where you can plan your listing on Etsy or on um, your website or something like that. It also has a place for note taking. But just mainly how to plan for your sales and your holiday events that's coming up i tell the academy all the time you should do it about two or three months in advance um so we should probably be getting reared up to start planning for christmas i mean christmas you should you should definitely start planning way more than just two or three for christmas we know it's coming um and that's like our crafter super bowl that's that's no time for us but I just it just depends on what season is coming up. For back to school, it's always backpacks, lunch bags. Um, when I was doing this, really a lot more smaller items. I did a lot of back to school shirts, applique. Um, what else, you guys? Give her some give her some helpful tips. College students, you could do their like towel sets, or those are good for graduation gifts. But also, you know, the back to school things. Um, just any, listen, anything that these kids need for school and they can take back, 
don't forget about the teachers too. The teachers like to have their stuff embroidered. My sister teaches and when she was going back one year, I did a bunch of shirts and stuff for her. Um, just with her regular, I think it was either shirts or dresses, just with her regular initials on it, just so she could have something cute to wear. So let's not forget about the teachers. We always forget about the teachers, y'all. Don't forget about teachers. They like to look nice too. They like to have their bags embroidered. Hey, Christine. Um, Joanne said, where did you get the design? This is actually a um, company's logo. This is for, this is a corporate order, so this is their logo. And, yep, Shirley said pencil cases, perfect. On backpacks you use, water soluble. I do not, not unless it is flush. Um, I don't use the water soluble stabilizer. I, I more so use that on shirts, like even though it's not really plush, it still has like that cotton component to it or polyester. So I'll do it on there, but for my regular like canvas filling stuff or just flat, I don't. I don't typically. I know that backpack's gonna drive me crazy, right? Like, I'm, I got quiet for a second because I was looking down at it. Like, completely forgot I was on live with you guys. <laughs> and just started looking at the backpack like, ugh. Um, but yeah. Any other questions? This one has another 22 minutes, so I don't know if I'm gonna stay on here the full 22 minutes for it. I may stop it and um, hop off, but I mean, unless, I mean, unless you all want to stay on here, you, you know me, I'm going to be here. I'm, I'm going to be here. We've been on here for two hours before. I will just yell for another bottle of water and keep going. Thank you, Shula. Y'all know I always like to know, it's, it's Sunday. So I always like to ask, what are you all cooking today? And can I come over? Two most important questions of the day. What are you cooking? And can I come over? All right. And I'll tell you what I'm cooking. Um, Shirley, tear away for backpacks. Yes, ma'am. I use tear away for, um, for the backpacks. And... What Christine said, what are the name of the hoops? These are hoop tech clamps. And this is the five by six frame. And Jeff said, I think you should go to Fort Worth. Why? Ooh, you sitting there away? Fort Worth? Is that Texas? I think my dad was stationed there. Uh, what type of stabilizer did you use? April said she just logged in. Hey, April. Um, so I use Tearaway. My favorite are these nice little. So I don't. I have a favorite. Um, what's the thing called? Like a favorite guide, or I did a YouTube video of a lot of the things that I use. I didn't link these because I used all of my YouTube links. Not YouTube links. I used all of my. What are they called? Um, Amazon links, so I link it to Amazon because it may be easier to just put those on there to be honest. But I get these also. Okay, I love them because they're a perfect size for either my 4x4 or my hoop tech clamps. Okay. Um, Christine said, Where can I purchase them? Um, they are. So a lot of, there's a lot of authorized dealers. If you are close to an authorized dealer locally, you can purchase them from there. I purchased mine from my local embroidery dealer. If not, you can always go to um, hooptechclamps.com. Hoop um, 
uh, who else does them? Sewingmachine.com has them along with the Mighty Hoops. Uh, if I had the time, I would apply to be an authorized dealer because you all ask me about them so much. But I just I don't I don't have the time or the space for the inventory to be honest. But I love 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 them, y'all. Ever since. So funny story, funny, funny, funny story, how everything comes full circle. When I first got my machine, I wound up taking a family vacation to Biloxi. And the weekend, you know, I was I had just got my machine, so I, I spent all my money. I didn't finance this thing, so I, I was like, oh, I got to figure this thing out. So I went to Biloxi on a family trip, and we went to a casino. And I had a couple extra dollars to spare, so I played the, what did I play? I played roulette. That's my favorite. If I'm going to gamble, I just like roulette because it's easy, red or black. Like, you, you, I mean, how can you really go wrong there? So, I gambled a little bit, and I got just enough money to buy these hoops. And I think at the time, the, the set that I wanted to buy, it was $700 for the whole set. Y'all, I got like a little over $700, and I was done. I was like, I'm done. I got what I need. I'm ready to go home. Let me put this in my purse, and we're not touching another dime of it. So these hoops were purchased with gambling money. I mean, should I say it that way? I don't know. Anywho, they were. It, it is what it is. And um, it was when I went to Biloxi right after I got a machine. And the funny part, the reason I say it's full circle, because I am going to the, um, to the Everything in Brewery Market in Biloxi uh, in September. So... I don't know if I'm going to gamble again to, to get another set of hoops, but I did it. And I'm going to stick beside it. This, this, you know, this is my machine. This is mine, and I'm going to stick beside it. What else? So, okay, I missed some stuff. Letty said, oh, seasoned chicken with broccoli with the white cheese sauce. Oh, you fancy. Oh, bro, you fancy. My, listen, my broccoli, they only get uh, yellow cheese, cheddar cheese. She has the white cheese. You fancy, girl. Um, Jeff said uh, he mentioned a bunch of different expos. Jamie's laughing at the, at the fancy cheese. The, listen, do y'all do fancy cheese? Or is that just Letty? Like, I love me some cheese now. I'll do pepper jack cheese, but not on my, not on my broccoli. My broccoli is missing out. Oh, but I'm cooking um, shrimp tacos. So let me tell you about the shrimp tacos. We got about 15 minutes left on this stitch. We're in, we're in this. All right, story time again. My shrimp tacos, so y'all know I went to Mexico. Uh, is it, can I technically say last week? Last week, about a week and a half ago, I was in Mexico. And I, I mean, I ate my weight in tacos. We, I, basically, I just went on a taco tour. Just rename me Taco. So I noticed with their tacos, they didn't have any of the yellow cheese. They didn't have lettuce. They didn't have sour cream. They didn't, they didn't have any of the stuff that we put on these tacos. I had shrimp tacos. Like the most they put on their special was maybe. Um, I think one time I had pineapples on it and, and little stuff like that. But it was just basic taco and tortilla. Like, just, I'm not taco, um, shrimp and tortilla or chicken and tortilla. They just didn't do all that stuff. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna implement this at home. I'm gonna start doing tacos and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let the taco be, a, I'm gonna let the taco be great all by itself. All by itself. So I'm just gonna do shrimp tacos and I have an avocado and I have some um, pico. They had pico de gallo, so they had guacamole and pico de gallo. And the tortilla shell. And that was it. They had rice and refried beans. I don't have all that. I'm not, I'm not sure about the refried bean situation around here. I should have got some Spanish rice. But they didn't do all that to the to the taco. So I, I'm, I'm going to start implementing that at home. That's why I like to travel. You go and see what, you get to see the authentic stuff. So if you come to my house for tacos, just FYI, we're not having any of the Rotel dip. Not this time. No Rotel dip. No yellow cheese. No lettuce. 
no sour cream. We just gonna let a taco be great over here. I'm gonna let a taco be a taco. So with all that being said, that's what I'm having for dinner, shrimp tacos. Y'all know I love to tell the story the long way. I go around the story the long way. done um i guess I'll, i guess i'll stay as long as as long as the numbers y'all are y'all are still here oh, i said that then two people dropped off but um we're almost done let me know if you have another question I'm looking at my computer now. I see where it's freezing up a lot. What is going on? It's driving me crazy. I'm trying to get them done between today and tomorrow so I can ship them on Tuesday. Uh, what else? What else? What else? And then I have another case. I have another two cases of them coming. So that's why we're doing these today. Y'all are helping me with the production order. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. And if you're just getting on, make sure you watch the replay so that you can see what we're all joking about with the bald spot on my bag. my hair like that what if my hair had gotten caught in there that would have been a tragedy hey Kanisa There are some times that I wish I had um, another machine so that I could make everything go faster. Like a moment like this, but it's okay, it's fine. But what I was able to do one time when I was doing a patch order, um, I set it up so that I was stitching it over here on my multi-needle and then I put it on my patch, on my five by seven hoop, as many as I could get on there. And I was having them go simultaneously. The only thing that was messing me up with that, I was using like one of my bigger cones. Um, so that's something I got to plan for in advance. I was using my Madeira my Pink. I was using this. So I don't have a, another, I didn't have another cone of the same thing. So I had to be really strategic with how and when I was stitching out and, and changing the other one. But um, it worked out for me. And that is one way that I was able to do both. I love when I have like something that is flat and I don't have to really babysit. Then I can put it on my um, on my single needle machine. So with that being said, when you all get upgrades and you get the multi needle machine, don't don't just throw out your single needle. Listen, you're gonna need it. I wish I still had the live from a long time ago when um, when I realized that for the first time that there were some things that I still could not do on this machine. That I needed my single needle for. As a matter of fact, it was a 31 bag, and it had the metal, um, it had like a metal bar going around it. It was a rectangular shape or a square shape, 
and it was too big to fit in between the leg parts of my multi needle. So I had to go turn it inside out and put it on my single needle and I draped it over the top and it worked perfectly. So I had to like go and apologize to my single needle like, hey, you know, I'm sorry. I got this new machine and everything, but I still love you. Can we please make up and you stitch this out for me really quickly? And it worked out. Okay, my machine, it, these machines, they don't hold grudges. So I was able to still get it stitched out. <laughs> but it worked. Um, let it say, if you win big in Biloxi, another machine. Let it, if I win big in Biloxi, yeah, probably another machine. Like, probably, listen, that she shed I've been talking about that I keep going back and forth on. This time I'm committed. Next time I, um, but I want it, it's a certain way I want to do it. I want to do it to where I don't finance it. So that's the only reason she shed has not been assembled in the backyard. But yeah, if I win big, that's, that's what we're going to do. But I'm, I'm not a big gambler. Like, I don't, I, I'm not a big risker when it comes to that. I might do a little. All right, let me read this one. Let's see, I got a question here. Okay, so Joyce says, and I'm gonna read it, and you all can also chime in. Joyce said, hey, I've been listening slash watching as I'm working here, and I have a question not directly related to today's stitch out. I hope you don't mind. Nope, I don't mind. Um, but I just need some advice. I'm getting ready to stitch a large intertwined monogram on a bath mat. Actually the same thickness as the thick towel. Anyway, a file, the file is almost 62,000 stitches. Oh my gosh, that is a lot. Will three layers of tearaway be sufficient underneath? Ooh, ah. Three layers, I mean, it's, Sounds like yes. Um, three thick layers, yeah, I wanna say yes. It sounds like it. But the only thing that just kind of would concern me is how dense is it? Like, is it something that's gonna go over that same area that would make it like tear away from there, that would make it detach from it? Um, that's the only thing. And I mean, could you use, like, do you have, like, a, a cutaway that you could kind of tear? Some of these cutaways, you can you can tear it and it still comes away, but it, it will still stay there and leave the, it will still leave it intact. Depending on how much they would see the back, that's probably what I would do, to be honest. Like, I, I, can't, I can't see the design to give you a wholehearted, true, you know, thought process of it, but... For me, what, what I would do in that situation, if it's really thick like that, I would really take, I would really observe the design and see if it's concentrated stitches in one area that would cause it to pull away. And then if it were, then I would probably make an executive decision to do some type of cutaway underneath just to make sure it stays stable. Um, and if it's not a situation where it's going to be showing through a lot, I would either leave it or I would just cut it really closely. But that's what I would do. Because that's not something you just want to get midways through and realize that your stabilizer is detaching. But sometimes even with, like, you could add six layers if you want. If, if the tear away is going to tear away mid stitch it's gonna tear away because that's just making it more like thick it's not necessarily making it more um, stable Natasha says she remembers that live <laughs> um, but I hope that helps Joyce I hope that helps Justin says, sometimes you just have to sweet talk your machine. Yeah, I'm telling you. Sometimes you have to be like, listen, I know I got excited because this other machine has more needles than you do, but it doesn't mean that I love it more than you do. Like, sometimes you just have to go back in. You have to, you have to be nice and, you know, you know, 
sometimes get the dust off of them. And I haven't done this one in a while. Clearly, look at that dust on there. But we're gonna go to. We're gonna have a good little spa day. We're gonna take her in for for a tune up. So make sure you're doing that. Jeff says I buy mine the finest oils. Yeah, then you drop that. Then you drop all the finest oils on the floor. I saw that live. Shame, shame, shame on you. I would have been sick. Thanks, I didn't even think to use cutaway since it's a monogram bath mat. The underneath won't be seen. Oh yeah, well then go for it. Go for that. Um, so, yeah, it's not gonna be seen. So I'm not picky. Like if you are, if you're the type of embroider that's really um, picky about the under finish of it, that's where you kind of run into some some inner tur turmoil about what you should use. But I more so prefer hold on hold on huh tasha here oh tell her to come on this is so sweet to go go home door i didn't yeah we have company door for her apparently my daughter listens very well because I, my friend's at the door and she's just left her on the porch that's so funny okay anyway where was i um but yeah you kind of have to go with your um I was saying something about if you are really particular about your stitch out and how you do it. Oh, hey girl, hey. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hear me that. Y'all, you know, I have orders that just that was just on my doorstep. I guess I gotta get to it pretty soon. This is cute. This is a good bag. Yeah, we're gonna look at the bag together. But yeah, that's where the um the turmoil comes in with whether or not you should use cutaway or tear away because you're worried about what the back is going to look like but me personally if the back is not going to be seen i err on the side of functionality like what is going to make my stitch out the best what's going to make it look good on the front like if i if if it's bothering me to have the stabilizer on the back i think about it first and say if i take the stabilizer off the back when they wash it what is it going to do what's going to happen okay so I kind of go on that side, but Joyce, I wish you the best and be sure you post a picture of it. Tomorrow is Sew and Tell in the Academy. I mean, well, in the Academy too, but in It's So Sweet to Learn, make sure you post it. Oh, I was about to pull it off without fixing the ball spot. Hold on, hold what you got. It's a little tedious, y'all, but listen, I guarantee you it's faster than uh, me figuring out how to fix it myself before I can send it over to Justin. Oh, yeah, that's for an order. Yeah, you can put it there. And then I stop it there. Uh -uh, I'll, I'll go to stop it. Cut it. Boom. Y'all see that? Like, literally, that took me no time. Okay. <laughs> My friend's over there singing in the background, and I looked at her. She said, oh, they can hear me? Y'all, we should make her go on the whole little singing um, concert. We have Tasha here. Hi. Tasha's in the group, too. You all probably have seen her. Um, commenting on y'all stuff but uh was that the last question was that it that all I had? oh i didn't even show y'all sorry see i'm in full production mode i was like all right what's next so let me show you all boom no bald spot um what would be nice if i were to go ahead and be snipping as i go but I've kind of been lazy. And then what's going to happen, I'm going to get to the very end and be like, oh, now I got to go and snip 60-something bags, all these little threads. But it's okay. I will probably sit down and have a podcast or something going while I stitch it out. But this is what we did today. 
We did two of them on live, actually. Let me show you. Oh. We did two of them. Double the fun. They were... They were 26 minute stitch outs. They're usually like 24 minute stitch outs, but I, you know, I was trying to fix the stuff myself and increased it by two minutes, so we'll figure it out. But can you just stop and back up right past the ball? So, yes, surely you can, and um, you can. But the reason why I didn't, because like I said, I was doing this in like production mode, so I would set it up and then I was leaving the room to go do some other stuff around the house, and then I would come back and at the very end just fast forward it back to where it was at. And um, if it were something where like I had to stitch over it or it wasn't easy to get back to, then I would have um, done it right away in this moment. But since I am uh, doing other things and getting other stuff and, you know, entertain, well, I, I was about to say entertaining 13 year olds, but I'm not, y'all. They don't, they don't care about me. They care about those phones. They went to the movies last night and they had a really good time. But um, I don't have to entertain them, but Kira's having a sleepover, so... Um, I do have to cook and do a couple other things. So that's why it's just easier for me to just back it up that way. <sighs> Y'all, we have... I cannot with these. I can't. I can't. So the funny... I, I have to say it out loud. Because the people on YouTube, when you all are watching this, you're going to wonder why I just had to shake my head like this. Okay? Y'all want to know? Because Jeff was about to tell us that he had to back it up in his 20s. Oh, back it up to, to my... Oh, okay, see. Bad thing look like. <laughs> for the 992000 yeah. <laughs> I have to back up to my 20s. Oh, okay, got you. See, that just went totally left. Y'all see me turning red here? He said, he okay, he's still talking about the baldness. Okay, wrong story. Never mind. Jeff did not back it up in his 20s. All right, see, that's what y'all get for cutting up on here. That's what y'all get. Y'all take me down these rabbit holes, and then it gets there, and it gets real awkward, and it just, it always happens that way. Jeff did not. I'm not. <laughs> Shirley said, got you. All right, see, now Jeff is quiet. We don't hear anything, nothing from the peanut gallery. <laughs> I messed up the whole comment, and now he's quiet. I think we have officially embarrassed him. But, um, but y'all, okay, I'm going to go. Oh, look, this, so this was on my doorstep. And this was at your door. Oh, ooh. And then someone showed up at my door with, with this so y'all <laughs> tacos and this but um <laughs> he says he's laughing <laughs> that's what you get jeff that's what you get for 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 talking about backing it up we automatically go to juvenile, juvenile back that back, listen never mind all right so this is what was on my front porch and um who was I talking to yesterday about whether or not, about drop off? So I don't mind letting people drop off stuff. Usually I have them to put it in a bag and put their name and stuff on it. So I will be doing, oh, okay. So I will be doing this, but I'm also going to be contacting her to let her know that um, this stitch is going to compromise the insulation of the bag. So keep that in mind, you guys, when you all are doing any kind of stitch outs. And there's, a, there's something that you can put on it. If anybody remembers it, because I'm going to have to research it before I do this, if she does still say to do it. Y'all, I would have just put some duct tape on it. It's, it's gray. What y'all think? But there is, I think there's like insulation tape or something that you can put on it. I want to start being better with my life and maybe putting that on there. But when I figure it out, I'll tell the people. Um, so, yes. But I do allow people to drop off at my home, at my personal residence. And this is what we get. Uh, so, I'm going to be doing this stitch out in the next two days or so. But technically, I have stopped doing um, what I call one-offs because it takes me, it will take me longer to do that bag than it would take me to do about three or four of these bags, even though these are like a 20-minute stitch out. Because like now, see, I got to think about what I need to use for that back part of it. I have to um, um, design or the, what's it called? Not digitize, but prepare the file do all that stuff so keep that in mind when you all are doing your orders that sometimes a bigger order is faster than a one-off order yes jamie duct tape that's the first thing that came to mind i don't know am i wrong would, would you not i don't know maybe not i wouldn't do it for an order but it's it, that's what came to mind all right so we have had a really good time today we went down the rabbit hole of backing that thing up it happened 
sometimes it happens we fix them bald spots we um, welcome the bottle of wine we talked about gambling <laughs> all that on a Sunday y'all this is just great <laughs> we went there but um, I enjoyed this time with you all remember it does not have to be perfect but it has to be pretty uh, oh and this was the hat if you all are just tuning in this was the hat that you know you may have seen on my page I'm trying to do a better job of getting or of posting in it's so sweet to learn because a lot of times after the stitch out a lot of people are saying oh I didn't see that oh I missed it and at first you know I fell into that whole trap of thinking that just because I posted once or twice everybody's gonna see it but you know Facebook and this whole algorithm situation they just are here to make us work harder and just make our lives miserable let's just be honest but um i need to be better about posting more in the group to let you all know what i have coming up so with that being said this was the last one that we did this was the hat ship and stitch where i sent them all the supplies for the stitch out and we hopped on zoom yesterday and we stitched it out and the next thing that we will be doing is a um backpack ship and stitch and i just happen to have the backpacks here let's see this one was my favorite color. I don't know, but I have a bunch of colors. See, remember the remember the live about this one? All these colors. So I will be um, shipping out these backpacks. I've already had a lot of people sign up in. Yesterday, it made me realize that I do want to have a, a fairly small class size. So if you are on the fence about signing up, sign up now because um, it's filling up very fast. And Craig, your hats are on the way. Craig said yay hats I cannot wait until you get your order so I can post it online um, I did a couple of hats for him with his logo so oh, I can't wait to show you but um but yeah so the hats were done backpacks will be sent out and like I said if you're on the fence about it go ahead and sign up because backpack season is upon us and if you have a single needle machine you need to be stitching out backpacks that's the easiest way right now to just kind of get some fast orders get your name out there get comfortable with stitching on other people's items because it's like i mean if you don't know what it is just tell them to see your picture of it if they want it stitched out and then um stitch the name or we talked about that today watch the replay stitch the name or the initials <clears throat> or the initials on it just depending on which one they want charge about 10 12 15 you know whatever However, my, however much you feel comfortable with charging for your work. And then rinse and repeat. Save up. Get you a bigger machine. It's just that easy. Like, I just, I literally just gave y'all the whole playbook. That's what I did. That's how I got to where I am. I did that same exact thing. I love backpacks. So, all right. That's all I have for today. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I truly enjoy this time that we have together. I'm about to go cook some tacos. I am super duper, duper hungry. And um, that's all. And I'm about to stitch the rest of these backpacks for the rest of the evening. And go, I just flew down there. And go um, finish some planning, some fun stuff. All right, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. Tomorrow is Monday. I want y'all to be excited about Monday. Go smash the day, crash the day. Don't crash. Smash the day. Just seize the day. Carpe diem. Have fun. Mondays are great. All right, I will see you all next time. Academy members, I will see you on Tuesday. Mentorship students, I will see you all on your scheduled dates, okay? Uh, you're welcome, Joanne, and I'll see you later. Bye! Mwah.